was a yoga class for the mind where we bend over backwards to extend your skills with some perfect puzzle poses. And helping us to be extra bendy and stretchy, our wily co-yogis, Lily Serna and <laughs> David Essel. And two people with live minds, our contestants, starting with our carryover champion quiz show participant, Lainey Mosika. Hello again, Lainey. Hi. Now, you were telling us last night about uh, this, this vast range of quiz shows you've uh, been on over the years, a Wheel of Fortune, Sale of the Century, Temptation, One Versus a Hundred, a whole range of them. Do you go about actually preparing well in advance for appearing on a, a show? I definitely do. Uh, for example, for this show, I have a copy of the Letters and Numbers book, so I've been practicing with that. I watch the show religiously every single night. Oh, okay. So you certainly do a bit of preparation. And I guess very different sort of preparation when you were on very different shows. That's right. Well, hope you're well prepared tonight. Great to have you back again. And tonight's challenger is completing Year 11 at Victoria's first specialist sports school, Heap Doe. Hello, Heap. Hi Richard. Now, great to have you on the show. You're 16 years old, so that is the youngest age that participants can be on Letters and Numbers, so great to have you here. Thank but you. specialist sports school, what do you actually do at the school? Um, we have a wide range of sports that uh, do before and after school training, such as soccer, tennis, footy, um, ba basically any sport we have. You've got the full mix there by the sound of it. When you finish school, where do you plan to go? Um, I hope to maybe one day do some journalism, uh, travel the world, see the world, or maybe do some sports science. Sounds like a great combination. We'll find some good combinations for you tonight. So welcome, Heap. So please make them very warmly welcome our contestants, Lainey Mosika and Heap Doe. write some compelling character profiles first of all with the letters game and uh, Lainey I think you know what to do. Could I please have a vowel to start with? Sure let's start with a and a consonant c and another consonant r and a vowel o and a consonant t another consonant s and a vowel E and another vowel, another E, and a consonant to finish, please. And last letter, N. First 30 seconds. both players coasting and cantering along good start uh, good sevens uh, the eight that I found here Richard is ancestor a nice find as well but very solid beginnings for Laney and Heap seven each Heap you get to make your first choice with our next letters can I please start with a consonant sure Let's start with Y and another consonant T and a vowel please I uh, switch back to the consonants M. Another one, please. F. And a vowel, please. U. Another vowel. A. A consonant. G. And I'll finish off with a vowel, please. And last letter, E. I'll start the clock.
first selection on the show. How did you go? I have a tiring seven. A tiring seven. Okay, we'll wait for that one, Lainey. And I have um, only a five. A five? What's that, please? Amity. And your seven? Fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> Fatigue. That's a beauty, David. Lovely hint and a great get heap. Good seven. What did uh, you find here? Well, in fact, uh, I found a, it's a word that we've had on this show before, and it's fumigate, which sounds like a cigarette scandal, but it's actually to uh, disinfect using smoke. Lovely find, David, but a uh, great score for heap. Seven points. Well, of course, the numbers game is next, and the points up for grabs depend on just how close our contestants get to the randomly generated target. Now, Lainey, last night you came up with a very novel version of uh, the family mix. What are you going to have for us tonight? I might just have the simple family mix tonight. Thanks, Lainey. That's Thanks. too large. And four small. And starting with the smalls, two, seven, one, ten. And the two large, 125. The target to reach is 796. Thank you, Lily. Can we get there? Free away, so uh, that's good going. What about you, Heap? I think I got 795. 795, just one away, so uh, even better. Tell us what you did, please. Uh, Lily, I took the one and added to the seven. Seven plus one is eight. Seven plus one is eight. Um, times it by 100. By the 100. Is 800. 800. Then I got 10 divided it by two. 10 divided by two is five. And then just took it away from the 800 is 795. So, nice work, Heap. You're only one off the target. This didn't look like an easy one, Lily. How was it for you? No, it wasn't too easy, actually. Um, 100 plus the 10 by the 7 is 770. Add the 25, and the 1 is 796. Ah. But when you do it like that, it doesn't look too difficult. Nicely done, Lily. But uh, good stuff for Heap. Another seven points. So Lainey's on seven. Heap is now on 21 as we head for our first break for tonight. Your first word mix is Mo Brook. The clue this time, this insect only devours paper. Back soon. Yeah. 